Hi there, I'm Tom. Now there's always been this inherent tension between the progression of humankind and the power of nature. We're here at the 600 block of Paseo del Mar here at the sunken city in San Pedro because this is a prime example of man versus nature and nature winning. So let's go check it out. We're here in San Pedro, the southernmost tip of the city of Los Angeles. This is the neighborhood where author Charles Bukowski lived for the last 16 years of his life. It's hard to imagine now, but this six acre development was once an exclusive community of California bungalows. That is, until it fell into the ocean, but that's why we're here. So let's go see what we can find. Everyone's heard the tired old joke that California's gonna fall into the Pacific Ocean. And unfortunately for this beachfront property, it actually happened. It happened so slowly that only two homes actually fell into the Pacific. All the other homes were able to be uh, moved off the premises. Obviously they left the roads in, there's no reason to move the roads, so that's what we see around here. We see all these crazy old, we see all this crazy old infrastructure. We see roads, we see manhole covers, and uh, just all the old remnants of what used to be here. This community is a perfect example of California at the turn of the 20th century. People came here because they could live where they wanted, they could do what they wanted, and all would be right. Hi, my name is Cynic. I'm from S1. The sum of us is one. You know what that means. You came. You don't live in San Pedro. Where, where, where are you coming from? I'm actually coming from Huntington Beach. Other than uh, you know, just having a kind of nature feel to it, there's a lot more. Like if you were to look around, I don't know if you see the different artwork of the different people that decide to tag in these places. And the thing is that you haven't even tried going up there. Cameraman, you think you're capable of doing that? We gotta pick up the I know, I should you right, man? Who knows if this developer knew how unstable the ground actually was. There are tons of homes that are built on the edge of the Pacific Ocean here in Los Angeles. Some could even argue that this is a buyer beware situation, that if you're going to buy a house literally on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, that there's some inherent danger in your living situation. These ruins, this, this sunken city tells a great Los Angeles story. It, it reminds us how powerful nature really is, something that we can forget sometimes living in Los Angeles. Quick side note, we are trespassing, so just something to keep in mind. But there is a Google Maps link, as always, beneath the video. You can come down here and check out the ruins for yourself. Thanks for watching. I weeped and I cried under where the tree